Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget pre-con upgrade series. This time looking at the black cards. So these are black cards that I think can probably get into, you can put into most decks that have the black color identity. So what is budget? What do I mean? Here, I mean under $1. I usually say under $2. Here, I actually squeaked it in under $1, so that's nice. And I'm using the TCG market value, not a sponsor. Nope, not one at all. Okay, Black loves death triggers and graveyard shenanigans. Uh I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <clears throat> hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? No! Oh. You're talking about shenanigans, right? Put those away! Um. Black is able to get a great deal of value even when your uh, your own permanents are going to the graveyard. So it's not just creatures. There's a lot of ways that you can get like bonuses from all kinds of different permanents going to the graveyard, not exclusively creatures. Um, having stuff in your graveyard in general can be a huge benefit with Black. Um, <clears throat> The ability to create value from using the graveyard is not limited to your own graveyard, but potentially from others, right? Black will also let you steal from other people's graveyards, basically making other people's graveyards into your spell book, which is very good. <clears throat> and yeah, black usually comes from swamps and is supposed to be about free will. <clears throat> oh good, I can't talk today. Free will and immorality. <clears throat> Number five, cut the profits. Okay, so this is an X spell, X black black for 10 cents. It has casualty three. Okay, casualty I'm gonna go over because we have two spells with casualty three. This just means you sacrifice a creature with power three or greater and you can copy this spell. That's really what makes these good. You draw X cards and lose X life. Um, so again, you're going to copy the spell, so you're gonna get double the amount of cards and lose double the life also, right? Um, but it's still very, very good. Uh, black is not bad with card draw. It's better than like, say, red, for instance. It's not as good as other colors. Like, it's not as good as blue, but you can really get some real benefit. A lot of times black wants to like, get something else. Uh, like usually, yeah, pay life or sacrifice a creature or something like that for the extra value. And this is recommended by Cliff Reeser. Thank you. Uh, 10 cents for that one. Number four. Karen Wanderer. Karn? Karen? I think it's Karen, like the land type. Anyway. Or the. Not land type. That's a. Anyway. But. Karen. Like. Yeah. An actual place. Anyway. Okay. Four and a black for a four four. First of all, that's not bad, it's not great. It's a changeling, so that is nice. Again, changelings are all creature types, so any kind of kindred deck you can throw this into, and it is gonna count as one of them. So yeah, gets a lot of things done. As long as a creature card with flying is in your graveyard, Karen Wanderer has flying. The same is true for, okay, so flying, fear, first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, Island Walk, Lifelink, Protection, Reach, Trample, Shroud, Vigilance. It can get 13 different combat abilities, uh, including Protection, and like, which is probably one of the best forms of evasion. Flying, it also has, just wait, Flying and, um, yeah, Shroud and Trample and Vigilance, like, you can just give this so much so easily, and it's gonna be a uh, absolute monster. You just get a few different creatures with a, you know, a few tr uh, keywords on them into your graveyard, and then you play this, and this guy is just like an absolute monster. Oh my. Anyway, 27 cents. Number three. Oversold Cemetery. Okay, this is only one in a black for this enchantment. So the mana cost is great, right? Two CMC for an enchantment is very, very good. Anyway, 
At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four more creature cards in your graveyard, you may return one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, sorry, it is, I thought it was random for some reason at first. It is not, it is target creature. So again, as long as you have four, I thought you put a random one into your hand. I'm reading this again now, and apparently it's target creature. So you can choose any creature you want. All you really need is to have four creatures in your graveyard. Remember, they do have to be cards. Tokens do not go to your graveyard, or they go to your graveyard, and as soon as they're in the graveyard, they cease to exist. So yeah, you're gonna need creature cards in your graveyard. Um, but this just, you can throw them straight back to your hand and you actually do get to choose. I totally read this wrong the first time. I think more than just the first time, but oh boy. Yeah, 41 cents only. Uh, that's insanely good. I thought it was a random one. You're choosing for two mana? Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> you should not be so surprised with the thing I'm recommending, right? Yeah, 41 cents, well worth it. Number two. Illicit Shipment. Okay, three black black. It also has casualty three. Search a library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Again, this is a tutor, right? A five mana, one card tutor, very bad. This, you're going to have casualty 3 though, so sacrifice that creature that has 3 mana or high, uh, 3 attack power or higher, and then um, get 2 cards. 2 is crazy. Any, okay, it, is, it costs 5. You might think, well, that's still expensive. Eh, for 2 cards in the same round, that is worth it, I think. Um, setting up any kind of win con really if your win con requires more than two cards especially in commander where you're going to have your commander and two things that work with your commander that's going to be three cards if your win con requires more than that you're doing your win con wrong your win con is too complicated like keep it simple stupid um anyway <laughs> i should probably not call people stupid hypothetical people but anyway seven cents Number one, Orc Sure Shot, uh, three and a black for a four two. This is so good. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, whenever a creature, not non-token creature, just a creature, target creature and opponent controls gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Any deck can use this. If you're, you've got like something where you're just making lots of uh, creatures quickly, or even just like a token deck where you're gonna make a whole bunch of tokens, this turns into a one-sided board wipe very, very quickly, right? This, this minus one, minus one, especially, it, that gets around things like indestructible, doesn't care, it's minus counters. It's not doing damage, it's taking away life. Um, this is crazy. This is one of those cards where a lot of budget cards are like niche usage, this is like, you can put this in any deck, and as long as you don't have some weird deck that doesn't have creatures, it's going to work. It's going to work at least somewhat. It's going to be ideal in decks that do lots of creatures very quickly, or lots of token creatures, or something like that, but it can work in anything, right? Whew. 21 cents. Also weird that it. this is a entering effect. I feel like it should be a death trigger for black, but anyway. The list. Cut the profits, 10 cents. Karen Wanderer, but I can't, can barely say it, 27 cents. Oversold Cemetery, so much better than I thought it was, 41 cents. Illicit Shipment is seven cents. So I can't imagine it staying that low. I don't know why it is even. Oryx Sure Shot, 21 cents. Another one that's just so good. Like, I. Anyway, take it easy.